everybody. So I am doing my first rep my first impression review um, video on this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, the one thing I am going to say about this, just price wise, already a part of my review, is I do not appreciate. Even though I still spend the money, I don't appreciate spending twelve dollars or eleven dollars on a drugstore product. Drugstore is drugstore for a reason. I feel like higher named brands can um and I don't want to say this saying that drugstore products don't have good products because they do and sometimes their things exceed higher end products but companies that are higher end Mac Urban Decay you know the higher end companies they have put in their time and their money and you know they are higher end companies they um I, I, I want to say they have a right to charge more money because that's what they are. Like, that's their higher end. Everybody knows that's going in. I don't like paying more money. I don't like paying $12 for a foundation. Like, I'd much rather go and spend $14 on an eyeshadow pan for MAC to add to my palette. Or, you know what I mean? Like, and yes, I still bought it. And yes, $11 or $12 really isn't that much. But that's for a drugstore product. Like, I really think drugstores need to re-look at their prices because they're going more up more and more, and I just don't think that that should be happening. I think drugstore is drugstore for a reason, and, like, especially L'Oreal, like, that face spray they have is $15. Well, I'll go spend, like, a little bit more and just go get, um, my Urban Decay, like, all-nighter making setting spray that I, like, really like. Um... You know, so I just, the price really turns me off. I don't like it. So, um, I, I really hope I like this product, but I don't know for that much money. I really, I don't want to spend that much money on a drugstore foundation. So that being said, if you want to see my first impression video on the L'Oreal Infallible, oh my gosh, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro, Pro Matte Foundation, please keep on watching. Okay, so I think the technique that I'm going to use with this is I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand um, and then like dot it on my face and I'm going to use my beauty blender just because my beauty blender is like what I prefer to use even though I have been going more towards my like kabuki brush um, now that it's fall time. And speaking of it being fall, ugh, I think the idea is a fall is great but it is so cold outside. I mean, it's only 50 degrees, so like in the springtime, that seems awesome. But it's cold. I don't, I don't like being cold. I hate it. I, ugh. And I get so depressed during the winter time. So, um, winter is just so hard for me. And the fact that now that it's getting to be fall and winter's on its way, I just hate, I hate it. Um, it just gives me anxiety because I hate the winter so much, and I just don't, I don't like being able to go outside and like. Um, enjoy, like, the warmth. I, I like, I enjoy being hot. I'm excited. I have, like, a freshly clean beauty blender. So, we'll see. Alright, so. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the color I got is the color 102 Shell Beige. That's, like, the second to latest color. I was gonna get the next one up, but, um... I tried it on in the store, which I know I shouldn't. I hate when people do that. But the other one was, like, too orangey. And I'm glad I went with this shade because it just seems to be better. Um, I have not super oily skin, but not super dry skin. So, we'll see if it clings to my dry patches and how it goes throughout the day. I like this foundation because it's, like, yellow toned, but not, like super yellow, like I can get away with it. Um, so far, I am really, really liking the coverage of this foundation. Um, it looks so, it just looks so natural on my skin. I literally don't feel any, like there's no stickiness, which is like, it's a matte fo formula, but like, it just like, I feel like it's my regular skin. It's like really, really awesome. It, it's so natural looking. I really like this. I'm going to have to like look up close to see if there's any like matte or any dry patches. Also, if you hear that like ringing, that's my cell phone, but it's in the other room and I'm not getting it. So, oh my gosh. This looks good. I don't even need, I generally spray my foundation with, um, like, water or my 
hard candy like makeup setting spray and I don't feel like I need to do that at all this foundation is like fantastic okay so what I'm gonna say coverage I would say medium I definitely think I could I mean it's medium like it covers up these dark patches that I have right here I really don't even feel like any concealer besides to like brighten up um, so I would say medium coverage I definitely bet you could fill it in to full um, the texture is fantastic like it's a super matte formula but it's not like catching on my dry patches like I normally get dry on my nose and it's like so oh my gosh like this is such a natural foundation I am like extremely impressed with the coverage how it feels on my skin the texture um and the color and it blended really well so I would say like like this product is good I really really like this um first impression is like I would say like 10 out of 10 like I have nothing bad to say about this um follow me I'll leave my link down below on Instagram so you can follow me um because later tonight I will do a review on what I think about it throughout the day and then after a few days of wearing it I'll give like my final review but first impressions this is a fantastic on point product the texture is great no not clinging to my dry patches it's so natural looking like it looks like my skin but better I love the color and I yeah like I'm super impressed so if you guys have tried this product let me know what you think um, give this video a thumbs up please subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram for an update on what I think of this product and I will talk to you guys next time bye okay guys so I did say I was going to do an update on my Instagram which I still am planning on doing um, later in the day but I want to say a few good and negative things that I have found. I've had this product on for I would say the past two hours and kind of letting it settle. I want to say um, first the positive. Um, I forgot to take it off my hand and it is not budging. Like um, not that I've washed my hands or anything because I haven't had to wash my hands in the past two hours but it literally is not budging at all and it dries to a powdery like finish. Um, that's what it feels like on my hand. I don't necessarily feel it on my face. Also I have noticed that this foundation has oxidized within the past two hours. It definitely has gotten more like muddy and orange. Um, not super noticeable on my face, and I know like your face and your hand are different, but definitely on my hand, it's super muddy, and um, it's kind of hard to tell on my face, but I have noticed some like oxidization on that. Um, next thing, I did not set my face at all, just because um, with this foundation, I felt like I really didn't have to, which is strange, because I never don't set my makeup. I set my makeup every... I've never not set my foundation, but I didn't, and I'm really glad, because the more that this has settled onto my skin, the more cakey it has become. Um, it's settled into my fine lines in my... on my forehead, um, and I've had to blend that out a few times, and just on my forehead, like, it looks cakey. Um, and I've, I've sprayed, um, water, like, for my little thing I sprayed water on that and then like when that didn't help with the cakiness I then went in with my makeup setting spray from hard candy and that didn't even help and generally at least one of those works so the fact that both of them didn't really help um so I'm gonna say I really think it's just my skin type I'm not saying that this is a bad product because I don't think that it is because I know people really love it and I am gonna try it more than once I am gonna wait to see how it goes on through the app throughout the day I'm gonna try it with different primers and stuff so I will update you guys on that but I did want to say over the past two hours I have noticed those things and it's kind of making me like bummed that I spent that much money. Um, do you guys know, because I bought this from Walmart, and th if this is like what the product's like, um, after a few more tries, I'm going to return it. Do you guys know if I can return makeup to Walmart? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. Follow me on Instagram, and I will let you know later tonight how it has held up, and then like throughout the next few days as I'm using it, how it's holding up. So again, last time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next video. Bye!